Okay, in this video, here's what I'm gonna, I'm gonna cover. Obviously, you saw the title, you saw the thumbnail, is why would I click off your video? Why would I stop watching your video? What would make me stop watching a motor vlog video? A couple of things. So I hope to give some tips so you can make your better motor vlog videos. And if you got some tips for me, if you're looking at my videos, you got a couple of tips for me, you know, let me know. Put them in the comments below, some things I may have missed. Okay, first thing first. First thing first is you have to have good sound. The better your sound is, the better your video will be. I would turn it off if you got good scenery and you have horrible sound if you're speaking and trying to talk to me. And some of the guys speak so low, I'm forced to put headphones on and then it still doesn't sound that great with the headphones on. So check your sound. Invest in a good quality microphone, a nice lapel mic, and from what I've been hearing, Purple Panda is one of the better mics that doesn't cost that much. And I'm sure there's dozens of dozens of mics out there that's super inexpensive, but invest in a good mic. And once you get that mic, put a dead cat wind buffer on it. Because these things will make me turn off your motor vlog video. Now, with that in mind, the next thing is scenery. Now, I'm not in, I'm in a neighborhood. I'm not in a back road or anything right now. Scenery. If you are telling me that, hey, you gonna, I'm gonna ride these great twisty roads, you guys gonna love it. And I'm watching your videos, you know, the title, you talking about this fantastic road that you're gonna ride. I'm watching your video and all I see is this, your bike, all this stuff. How, how am I supposed to see the things that you're talking about? Remember, you are making videos for your viewers. If you're talking about a great scenery, a mountain over there, and you're looking this way and all the viewers see is this, then that doesn't make for a good video. Now, what I'm speaking about is I guess you probably you guys probably figured it out already is your camera that's on the helmet i'm not talking about different mounted cameras that show different angles and all that i love those i would not turn it off if you showing me a video that shows supposed to be views i'm not talking about getting off the bike i am just talking about on the bike with your camera on it now I know that 90% of motor vloggers, probably higher than that, 90% of motor vloggers have the chin mount camera. But the problem is, you're not watching your own videos. Your chin mount camera is showing all this when you want everybody to see that. So, if the chin mount camera is showing this and you want to see that, that would make me turn off the video. I don't want to watch 10, 20 minutes of your bike. I do understand that seeing the bike and the handlebars kind of make the viewer seem like they're part of it. But I am specifically in this part of it talking about if you're telling me about a beautiful view and stuff that I am supposed to see. So that's what I'm talking about. So check your videos, angle your camera appropriately. As you can see, I wear mine on top. I'm not worried about what people say, well, you look like a Teletubby, <laughs> which obviously some of people do. I wear mine on top because I want you guys to see what I'm seeing. And I use my windshield, this and that, as point of reference so you can see and kind of get a feel of my bike. And that's why you see all my videos where well, you can see everything. Now, if you do wear it on the chin, another piece of advice is shoot at super view. That way, if your bike taking up, if your bike taking up 50% of the screen, I probably would turn it off. But if you're taking up 50% of the screen, and I'm talking about height-wise, if you have super view, at least you have all this and everything that the viewers can see. So check your videos out and make sure that you're doing that. Now, another thing is, if you're vlogging and you're telling a story or you have a question to ask or talking about safety stuff and you know and not just the views if you have great content 
you're talking about your family you're talking about something that's very interesting and not just blabbing about i'm riding with so and so and so and so and so and so oh yeah my man my man man over there to me that's kind of boring I, I will watch it if you come up with a good subject if you have a good subject i could care less about this if you have a good subject i will look at your bike all day because you have a good subject i care less about twisting around the corners and all that stuff if that's not the purpose of your video if the purpose of your video is to talk about a nice subject then i could care less about what i see i'm going to be engaging in it i will do this now you got to think this if i'm thinking like this imagine how many other people may be thinking the same thing and may turn off your video so remember if you have great subject and good sound i could care less about what i'm viewing on the video yes i wanted to be I want to see where you're riding, but that's not as important as your subject and your sound. Now, don't get me wrong. There are some people that have a combination of both. Even though they're riding on a street like this or riding downtown and there's really nothing to see, I can see what they're doing because they angled it right, okay? next thing to make a better video this will not make me turn off the video but to make a better video color grade your videos correctly some people color grade their videos they oversaturated and the sky is super blue we know our sky don't look like that people come on now it don't have to be pale blue or baby blue but how do you color grade your videos look at your greens that's the key and that's all i'm going to say about that look at your greens because you know when your greens when your greens are start looking fluorescent then you're oversaturating it so watch your greens now here's the worst thing i think outside of sound here's the worst thing like sound for me if you got bad sound i'm not going to watch it now if you got no sound and you're just playing music and you're talking about all this fantastic stuff of course i'm gonna watch it because that's kind of what I do. I do a lot of travel videos, obviously. But here's the thing that really kills me. When you, <laughs> not necessarily when someone's speaking, but when they say, look at this beautiful view. And they do this. And they're doing this. That is so irritating. And some people do it throughout the videos. Now, I know on a motorcycle, you can't, stare at one section then hurry up back you got to pay attention to the road I'm, I, I do understand that so don't beat me up about that however if you decide to say hey i want to show you guys this lake and you look over at the lake you still can cut your eyes in front of you, front of you. now when you finish tilting your head to the right or left and get ready to come back in front come back slowly Give us that perfect view or if you're shooting up come down slowly and if you don't do it like that do it in post production you do these things in post production then it makes it much easier on a viewer eye once again i'm telling you this because this will, will make me turn off your video and if i'm just one person thinking like that imagine how many others will think this also there are aren't I don't have too many other things that would make me turn off a YouTube video, but I turn off a lot of videos because of these specific things. And I understand everybody want to have a nice voice when they speak. And but if you got the microphone right there and you speaking in it, try to speak up. If you're talking like this, hey everybody, welcome to the channel. I'm Andre from Boys and Jeans Riders, and I can't hear that and you do that in all your videos, most likely I probably won't watch any of your videos anymore. I'm sorry. And the second thing is overmodulating. As I stated before, check your sound. A lot of people like to turn their sound up and then they start clipping and it sound like this. Yeah, where the hell are you going? Yeah. Now, that's not much of a big deal because we all speak loudly when we get excited. But you still got to check it in post-production to make sure it's not clipping, not over-modulating. Don't sound like crap. And like I'm looking to my right and 
if I was talking about a scenery, I would just come back slowly and face forward. So those are just a few things that will make me turn. Actually, probably the only things that will make me turn off your video. And it, there's some extraordinary motor vloggers out there with great, great content. And one of the people I want to acknowledge is Craig Hangsworth. I know he live up in the Buffalo area, which I know is freezing out there. But this cat, he tell you, he said it before. I don't want to ride Twisted Rose. You know, I don't have enough experience in all that. I don't get it. But he have extraordinary content. And unbeknownst to him, he make good videos. Well, great videos, actually. And I know there's a lot of people that make great videos, have great sound. And I'm not going to talk about everybody. I would do a separate video on my favorite YouTubers to watch. And I don't just praise any anybody. If you got a great video, I'm going to let you know you have a great video, a fantastic video. I'm not just going to say it just to sound like everybody else. So those of you who are looking at the comments that Rich, anyway, from Boosting Jeans Rider put in there, I do mean those things. Now, a lot of times <laughs> when you guys respond, y'all are responding, hey, Rich, hey, Rich. Believe it or not, when we put comments up, is probably 95% of the time that both Cake and I are reading these comments and deciding what to put up together. So if you see we, that means it's probably both of us. You'll know, when I say I, I normally put my name in it. Anyway, that's all I have for now. If anybody got offended by this, it wasn't my intention to offend, to offend anyone. It was to get us to make better videos now i seen a guy made a video a talking video and i seen it was a gold wing and i seen nothing but his wing but the subject was so engaging i stayed on the video so i'm not trying to offend anyone i'm just speaking my mind and that's what we're here for to help each other to make better videos and enjoy it because from what i heard a lot of you guys don't watch tv anymore anyway if you hadn't already do me a favor go on subscribe to my channel and hit that like button and once you subscribe make sure you ring that notification bell because we're gonna be putting a lot of more videos up throughout the year trust me I have a lot of subjects and of course we're gonna do a lot of our travel videos we have a big trip coming up in 2020 gonna take you along for the ride until then <laughs> Until then, ride long, ride hard, ride strong, and most importantly, ride safe. Peace.